Mm -hmm. I just wanted to just do something and I figured why not try to attempt to do a Halloween look. Now, some people have some fantastic, gory, fantastic sort of view of what, you know, their Halloween makeup look could look like. I wish I was that creative. Then again, I'm not that confident because I'm new to this game. So I figured I would just try to make something. <laughs> Is uh, from Tatcha. See that? Just to moisturize my face a little bit. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a typical lotion. And I'm just going to. Okay, so I could do the foundation first or do my concealer. And these are brushes from Complex Beauty. I'm sure complex culture beauty. I think I put, I have a video I put posted up recently. I'll post it somewhere here, here, or at the end of the video. But I think I'm gonna show, cause I don't think I have actively done so, how I use these for, these happen to be my go-to brushes as far as putting on, applying liquid concealer and creams foundation. So let me start with that. Oh, let me put a little eye cream. I'm gonna use Verso eye cream. I'm gonna put that under my eye. Again, I'm not sure where I'm going with this. I may just speed this whole darn thing up. That's why I said darn. Considering we're getting close to Halloween. What are you guys doing for Halloween, actually? You know? I mean, normally for Halloween, I would do one of the following. I would either stay home and just try not to watch anything scary because you know people watch horror movies and scary stuff and I'm like we're dealing with scary stuff and horrific stuff all day every day 365 seven days a week so uh, the last thing that I want to do and, and horror films kind of like disturb me anyway because I keep thinking I know it's fake okay I know it's pretend special effects all that I'm more concerned about the minds that thought up these things, these premises, and then made, you know, actually, you know, executed and made them happen. I'm like, those minds are the ones I'm more concerned about. Not so much that the movie itself, if that makes sense. So to me, that's more, that's much more terrifying. And I just can't, I can't deal with horror films. I mean, I, and if I do deal with horror films, it's more along the lines of the ones that are psychological and make you that make your mind leap to that next or because your mind can dream up the most horrific thing for you and that, that's that's again this is just me really. so i'm going in with the stick again from juvia's place and i'm just looking to figure out this redness that tends to be in my you know on my nose area it's just the way it is so here is my concealer brush so i'm just gonna go in and just do this i'll probably speed this process up i don't know but i also want to talk to you guys because it's taken me a lot to drum up the courage to really get more into the process of just speaking into the camera and getting used to looking at it and you know going okay where's you know <laughs> i'm imagining that you're where you're looking at me because it's not it's not that simple to film yourself on camera you know, I mean, you would think it would be easy for someone who isn't like an actor and stuff like that but honestly I don't find it easy. I'm kind of shy. I am. I'm shy. I mean, it took me like a year and a half of deliberating just to decide whether or not to even put up a channel. Because I had seen what happened with other people who did. You know, you become this sort of like a pseudo public figure where everybody, you know, comes on and they see you and they think they know you because they see you every day or every week on their on, on their computer, their, you know, the device, whatever they're using, and they start thinking that, oh, I know this person. And, or they think they know you, your personality, or they know every aspect of you, and that can get a little intimidating. And I was like, do I really want to put myself out there to do that? You know? And then 
have to sit with the consequence of, well, you put yourself out there. So now you're gonna have to deal with everything that comes with putting yourself out there. I just wish there was a way to balance that. Okay, so I'm putting on the concealer now, number 23. And I put a little on my eyes just because Again, this is like a full makeup look. I usually don't put this much on, but. And I'm using my Complex Culture Beauty Concealer Brush, which also has that lovely triangle angle. I mean, I'm still learning how to figure out lighting. I'm doing this very lightly because I don't want to pull or tug at the eyelid so much. And I know this is coming off really bright on camera. I could see it here, but um, it's that's on purpose and I will fix that. It's kind of comforting to hear the rain out the window, to be honest. Okay. This brush is not really meant to blend. It's more about distributing concealer in these, you know, hard to reach corners, like right in here, because I have really deep inner corners here, and it's a challenge sometimes even to put on eyeshadow because it doesn't go completely there. And if I want to accent it with a little bit of sparkly, it's kind of tough. How are you guys getting excited for Halloween? If you celebrate Halloween, if you celebrate uh, Dia de los Muertes, which is a Mexican holiday. I think certain places in the world also celebrate it as well. But to me, I always equate it with Mexico because I got to celebrate my first ever one in Mexico, um, specifically in Oaxaca. And it was beautiful. It was just simply, it's just simply beautiful how they celebrate and keep the memory alive of their, you know, ancestors. And it just reminded me of the trips I would take with my grandmother to my grandmother's house and with my mom and my sisters and brother and how we would just, you know, show up either it was on Mother's Day or just a regular Sunday and get together with like my 20 cousins at the time and just spend time together, driving each other crazy in this small apartment and you know, in downtown Manhattan and just grow up together. And my grandmother would be sitting there, you know, making her infamous rice and beans. And, and I would be sitting there smelling everything and hearing my parents, my mother really, uh, talking to family. My father never went to these gatherings, but, <laughs> um, you know, just hearing my aunts and uncles, you know, kidding each other and, you know, making you realize that they were kids once and how they had their own memories, you know, before kids and goofing, you know, having jokes on, on their mother, which was, you know, our grandmother and just sharing the food and having the pastel and having the rice and beans and, you know, the smell of coffee in the air, the brucello, it, all this stuff is like, this is what comprises and helps um, me identify with me and who I am. So it, it was just very, it's comforting in a way because this is what I grew up with. This is what's familiar to me. This is what I know. This is where I, I felt safe. I didn't feel like there was any um, danger. You know, there was too many of us. Like who's gonna take us on? There's like 20 cousins. And then my mother is one of six children. You know, so it's like how, how many, <laughs> you know. I think I wanna use one of my favorite brands which is Melt, and this is the Muerte Palette.
I am feeling it. I am loving it. Let me know in the comments below how you dress up for Halloween. If you have a Halloween idea that you are going to incorporate for this year in this lovely <clears throat> world we are currently going through right now, this current reality, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and even better, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll know my next video will be up. Thank you so much for watching and happy October and happy early Halloween to you. And I hope that you have a fantastic, safe one. And I hope to see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.